Oh, I'm just here to see what he has to say and whether or not I agree with it. About a dozen people turned out for one of several town hall meetings by Congressman Frank Lucas. Many of those in attendance came prepared with questions for their congressmen. Oh, I have a lot of questions, especially over that bill they got up there concerning <laughs> Social Security and Medicare and corporate tax rate they want to reduce. I got a lot of questions. And of course, health care was an issue shared by many constituents. So we want to make sure that our, especially our rural patients, are taken care of and that we're included in any health care plan that would come down from the national government. Jesse Moore from Terrellton had questions concerning Congressman Lucas's role in the House Committee on Agriculture. Specifically, what kind of legislation is dealing with global warming? And uh, many plants do not, uh, the wheat production and rice production and corn production will go down if the Earth's temperature keeps increasing. NASA's data clearly shows that the Earth's temperature has gone up and 97% of the scientists in the world that do research on climate say that the climate is warming and that man's release of CO2 is the cause. And so I, um, since um, Congressman Lucas is on the Agriculture Committee, I am concerned if, if he plans to take this into account in his um, legislation. The congressman ran out of time before answering questions related to global warming. However, he did address the federal budget and how it will impact Oklahoma farmers. Most of my town meetings that, uh, where we're discussing ag policy, they're more focusing on next year's 2012 farm bill. And the challenge in 2012 is, as there will be less money to spend on almost everything as we get a grip on the national debts, the deficits, that means farm bill spending is going to be under the microscope too. I expect to have fewer dollars to write this farm bill than the 08 or even the 02 farm bill before that. And he says with less money, farmers will be in the same situation as everyone else. But he says farmers for the most part are not looking for a handout. They're just hoping and praying that the drought will end. The real bottom line is when you had the driest uh, November to March in much of the state since 1921, it just needs to rain. That's what farmers want. They don't necessarily care about their crop insurance check in comparison to the loss. They don't care about disaster assistance. They want it to rain so they can raise a crop so they can sell the fruits of their labor.